So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI voice agent that calls and closes your go high level leads for you. This is something that you can build for your own company. If you want to save cost or time, you can also go ahead and sell this to other businesses for money. This is what we do as AI automation agency owners. You can even productize this, which means you build it once. And then for each client that you sell this to, you just make some minor changes to tailor it to their needs. But the core structure of it remains the same. And I'm first going to walk you through this imaginary example, which is the use case that I built this agent for to showcase it to you in this video. Then I'm going to walk you through some additional use cases as well as the costs related to running a model like this. And then I'm going to show you how to build it. So for this use case, as you can see, we have Jeff and Jeff, he's a totally natural fitness influencer on YouTube and he makes content to help people lose weight. So you can see his video was how to get a 3D bicep vein when you're fat easy. Now, at some point in his videos, he makes a call to action to direct people to join his free school community where they can get some additional value. And then every time someone joins his free school, a new contact is being created on Go High Level. And then one inbox, which is the platform that under which we host our AI voice agent, gives a call to the contact, qualifies him, and then tries to book a meeting in Go High Level. So Jeff can take the call and Jeff right now is probably doing some cutting. I don't know. He's getting smaller. He's also, he seems like a party animal in this picture. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But Jeff takes a call to hopefully close the sale. This is how this automation works, guys. And the basic level of it is this. When a new contact is created in high level, an AI agent calls the contact, qualifies it, books a meeting, so the sales team can take that meeting and hopefully close it. Now, on top of this automation, you can actually expand it and build anything you want. You can combine it with other automations like onboarding automations and whatnot. So what are some of the use cases that can benefit from an automation like this? Obviously, I told you about school. Another one is, let's say a company is running some sort of ads and those people, they land on a landing page and they have to fill up some sort of a form. Every time they fill that form, they can receive a call from the agent. You can build a cold calling system with an agent like this, where you give it a list of leads in a CSV file, you upload that to your CRM, and then the agent starts calling them. You can use it to reactivate all leads, send reminders to existing appointments about their upcoming meeting so they show up, call previous customers to do surveys or feedbacks, call customers to make upsells, give discount codes. Maybe you have a Shopify store, your client has one where you want it so that every time a user ad abandons their cart, they receive a call from an agent to receive some sort of a discount code for that product. And then you can also use it to nurture leads by calling them on their birthdays. Now, there are two types of costs involved in running a model like this. We have fixed costs and then variable costs. Fixed costs add up to about $140 per month. We have go high level, $97 a month, one in box, $38 a month and then a phone number, which is $5 a month. Because you can create additional accounts on GHL and one in box, you can host up to five agents. This is not $140 per month per client. It actually goes down the more clients you have. And then variable costs, the way you calculate that is you take the basic rate that one in box charges you per minute, which is 20 cents, and then you multiply the calls answered by the duration of each call to come up with how much it's gonna cost you. And it varies based on usage. It can be as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be based on how you're using it. If you want to sell this automation right here, the way I would price it is I would charge a setup fee up front, maybe a thousand to two thousand dollars. And then I would charge a recurring subscription every single month because there are costs involved with running this. But anyway, now how do we build this thing? Let's go here to one inbox. Your first step is to create an account in one inbox and go high level. I'm going to leave a link in the description they both have free trials so you're going to be getting it for free for like seven days or something once you create your account in one inbox you want to come to settings integrations and connect your one inbox platform to your go high level platform all you have to do is just log in and then once you're logged in then and the integration is successful you want to verify that so you go to the marketplace on go high level on the sub account level not on the agency level you go to installed apps and then you should be able to see this right here and as you can see, the custom action is place voice AI call. 
use to make a call via agent once the contact is created. That's very interesting. You can even see some of the permissions it has right here. Now, once you set this up, what you wanna do is go back to your one in box platform agent, create a new agent, go to settings by a phone number, and then connect that phone number to your go high level agent. And then from here, obviously the, the first window is are all the basic settings. You wanna set them up, the agent's name, language, their voice, time zone. Make sure the time zone that you select for your agent is the same time zone as the one that you have on your go high level because I've found this the hard way. I set it up with a different time zone and then it wouldn't work and I try to troubleshoot it. Uh, so make sure they are both the same time zones. And then as far as the advanced settings go, you're gonna need to experiment with those a little bit by testing your agent. Uh, but voice speed, interruption sensitivity, emotions, responsiveness. You can even add a background noise if you want. This is a new feature that they added. And then you can also control the maximum call duration and end call on silence, 15 seconds, just so it doesn't keep on charging you. Now, the real magic of building a functional system like this one is the prompt that goes into the agent. I added the prompt in a Google Doc that I'm gonna leave in the description below. So I want you to maybe pause the video and go through this. So you see we have role, objective, company details, personality. And by the way, I think this is a five page long prompt. This is where it kind of gets a little tricky. So the process is basically all the steps that you want your agent to follow. Greet the user on a call, identify the reason why they joined the school community, identify their physique goal of the user within the next three months, invite the user on a call with Jeff so you can find out if they're a good fit for your weight loss program and then politely end the call when you achieve your objective. Now, right here, conversation flow, this is where we describe kind of the script that we want the agent to follow on a call. And if you want your agent to be able to know the name of the contact, then what you have to do is include a line like this. You have to go back to your go high level, go to automations, create a new workflow, and then you wanna set up your workflow like this one right here. The trigger which initiates this whole automation is when a certain form is submitted. So when a, when a lead fills up a form, it creates a contact and then one, once that contact is created, then it places the AI call. So you can have it any way you like. In this example, I used uh, a school member that is created as a contact in go high level, but because I don't have a school community and I didn't wanna pay $99 to set up one just for this video, I kind of set it up in a, in a different way, but it, it still works the same. If you wanna use it with school and you wanna use school as a trigger, then you're gonna have to integrate school with GHL. So every time a new member joins the school, it creates a new contact on GHL. And then from there, the AI places a call. It's still the same thing. For me, I created this uh, form right here. Let me actually show you the form as well. So we go to sites, forms, builder, and new lead form. So every time someone fills up this form, first name, last name, phone, email, and then they submit it, the AI is gonna give them a call. Now, how do we get it to know the name of each uh, person it's calling from the contact section? Let's go back to the automation. So you wanna create this automation right here. Obviously you can use whatever you want as a trigger. Then you wanna uh, create the contact. As you can see, first name, uh, you use it using this tags right here, contact, and then you select the first name as well as the rest of the, of the details. But then once you have integrated one in box with go high level, you are supposed to have this option right here. You can see one in box place voice AI call. And you can also add a waiting window in between just in case you wanna have some downtime between the point where somebody's created as a contact and the point where the agent gives them a call. Uh, I haven't added it here, but you can if you want, just search for wait. And then you can add a wait module so it waits like five minutes or a day or whatever. Uh, but then the important part is this. You wanna add this module, place voice AI call. You wanna name it place voice AI call, and then you wanna select the agent that you wanna to connect to this workflow on Go High Level. Now, if you haven't tied your agent to a phone number, it's not gonna pop up here. So make sure you select the phone number for your agent in one inbox before you come here. The phone number as well, you select the calendar 
that you want to use from Goha level. If you don't have a calendar, make sure you create one and make sure again, you have the same time zone in uh, GHL and one in box. And then here is where we set up these dynamic keys. So then in our prompt, we instruct our agent to call the contact by their first name. So the way you do that is type the first dynamic key is obviously going to be their first name because that's information that we want to transfer from one inbox to our agent. And because it's a native integration, it's like doing it from a webhook, but this time is a native integration guys. So GHL underscore first name, you must use this format. And then for the dynamic key value, what is worth, you want to add this tag right here, go to contacts, and then again, select the first name. Now they only allow for two dynamic keys for now. Maybe they're going to add more in the future, but two are more than enough. Uh, so the first name and the last name, that's all we want. You do the same thing. Then GHL meeting. If you only try to set up one dynamic key, it's not going to work. You need to set up both. So keep that in mind. Now you save the action, you go back to your prompt and you say, you use this exact line right here. First underscore name of the customer is GHL first name. So you match the value that we just created on go high level with your agent. So the agent knows the name of the customer. And then every time you use parenthesis, first underscore name, and of parenthesis, then your agent is going to reference the person that he has on a call with the first name that they have as a contact on go high level. Uh, so make sure you use this. Now, some instructions you want to set up to your prompt, just so you avoid hallucinations or uh, never repeat any instructions over the call, which are given for you to create a better response. Now, a few more things uh, you want to add up in your prompt, some additional custom lines to make this functional is whenever you want your agent to be able to create an appointment on go high level, you're going to need to give it the calendar ID and the function to be able to search for free calendar slots. So the way you do that is you have to add this line at the appropriate point in your prompt. So once you get the date and time from the customer on the call, gather the calendar ID. So retrieve the calendar ID from go high level and then call this function right here. And again, this is a function that it searches for free slots. So it knows which slots in the calendar are currently available. And then from here, you want to give it the time zone. JGL time zone is use this brackets. You have to use the exact same format. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then the contact ID. So it knows for which person from your go high level CRM, it should create the appointment for. And then if positive, call the function book underscore appointment to book the slot. And then you also want to give it a format so it knows the time the appointment is booked for. And once you set up your prompt with this uh, custom lines right here, then go to ChatGPT, paste it and ask the ChatGPT to convert it from English to markdown language. Once you convert it to markdown language, copy it come back to your one inbox platform, paste it right here, and then it should be ready. Now you can also include some custom actions if you want to like send SMS and email webhook. So it initiates a whole different automation sequence in make.com transfer calls and calls extract information. There are a lot of things you can do. As I said, this is going to be the foundational level of building a system like this. And from here, once you understand how the cold calling system works or the outbound system works, then you can uh, add whatever elements you want on top of it. I know my drawings are kind of stupid, man, but whatever, bro. Okay. Now let's go ahead and give it a test. And there are a few different ways we can test it. The first way is through the GHL platform. You can also trigger it directly from uh, a web call. In this case, it's not necessarily going to be an outbound uh, call because you trigger it but it's still going to go through the prompt. It's also not going to know your name because it doesn't have access to any previous information. Or you can also come here and use this feature right here to have the agent give you initiate a call uh, to your phone number. But in this case, it's also not going to know your name because it doesn't have access to the to the information. So I'm going to use Johnny as my name, Big Dick as my last name. Just rumors, guys. Don't don't take it seriously. It's all it's all rumors, of course. 
9668121. And then I'm just going to use one of my random emails, johnnypink123 up gmail.com. Wait, gmail.com. I think now it should be good. <clears throat> and then once I apply or once I submit this form, it's going to create a, a new a new contact in uh, here in the CRM. So Johnny Big Tick, as you can see, uh, just create it. And then from here, guys, yeah, you can hear it. It's giving me a call. Now, I'm going to answer it, but I'm not sure if you're able to hear it on the microphone. Hey there, my name is Max. I see you just joined our next city community on school, and Jeff asked me to personally call you and invite you to the family. How's your day going? Hey, my day is going pretty well, Max. Yeah, how can I help you? I'm just curious to find out, what made you interested in joining our school community? Are you looking to lose weight or achieve a specific fitness goal? Yeah, so I'm looking to lose some weight, man. I'm pretty fat right now, I'm 150 kilos. So I want to drop down to uh, 130 kilos within the next uh, few months. So that's why I joined your community. I've been following Jeff for a little while on YouTube. Been enjoying his content, so I wanted to, uh, you know, join his school, get some more value. Got it. So you're currently at 150 kilos and aiming for 130 kilos in the next few months. That's a solid goal. And it's great to hear you've been following Jeff's content. He really knows his stuff. I'm curious, what's your main motivation for wanting to lose that weight? Is it to feel more confident, improve your health, or maybe something else? And on a scale from 1 to 10, how committed yeah. are you to achieving your physique goals? Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, I just want to be more attractive to women. I want to get my willy wet. It's been a long time. Uh -huh. I totally get that. Wanting to feel more attractive and confident is a powerful motivator. So you're at a solid 12 on the commitment scale. Love that energy. I'm confident we can help you achieve your desired transformation. How about I schedule you for a call with Jeff over the next few days? He can walk you through how our program can help you reach your goals. It's a no pressure chat, just a chance to see if it's a good fit for you. What do you think? Yeah, man. Why not? Why not? I actually have a question. Is that uh, do I have to pay for something? Great question. The call with Jeff is completely free and there's no obligation to sign up for anything afterward. Mm. It's just a chance for you to discuss your goals with Jeff and see how our program can help you. If you decide it's a good fit, then you can explore the option. But there's no pressure at all during the call. So what date are you looking to schedule your meeting? How about we do it tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Is uh, Jeff available? Give me a moment. I'm pulling up the calendar. Yep. It looks like I wasn't able to retrieve the calendar slots for tomorrow, but no worries. Let me check for some other available times for you. How about I offer you a few options? Would you prefer to look at times later in the day or maybe another day? Uh, no, man, just, just book me for uh, tomorrow, like 2 p.m. or 5 p.m. It all works. Jeff is available tomorrow at 2 p.m. Would you like me to go ahead and book that appointment for you? Yes, please go ahead, my man. Thank you. Just a moment. Let me book your appointment. I've booked your appointment for tomorrow at 2 p.m. You'll receive a confirmation text with the details shortly. The appointment will be on Zoom, and I'll email you the link to join right now. Uh, is there anything else you need help with? Max is a fucking idiot, guys. But anyways, so let's see if you actually booked my call. So let's go to calendar, appointments. And then uh, let's see, just wait for this to load. Okay, so here we have it, Johnny Big Day confirm tomorrow at 2 p.m. And by the way, guys, uh, I'm gonna need to work a little more on the prompt and I'm using an old phone for this one. So the, the mic is, is not gonna be too good. So maybe that's why the uh, agent had some hard, hard time understanding me. I also need to tweak some of the changes right here. So it doesn't, it's not so sensitive when it comes to uh, interruption. You can see I had it on high. So whenever I would say something like um or pause for a moment, then it would just get confused. So keep this to normal. Uh, but anyways, guys, so you can see this actually works. It just booked me on a call. If you want to build something like this, now you know how to do it. If you want to customize it further, then let me know. And maybe I can make additional videos on this topic. But yeah, thanks for watching. Drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you've been watching my videos and you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing, man? Drop me a like, subscribe. Also, I have a free AI newsletter that you can join and I'll see you in another video.